In today's top cryptocurrency news, December 29, 2022, in the first new Bank of India report calls for regulatory coordination on crypto market challenges. The RBI's latest financial stability report accentuated the negative about cryptocurrency and reminds the world that India is looking for global action on crypto regulation. In the second new, FTX's liquid exchange hopes to return customer assets next year. The exchange said it intends to outline further details in a report in January 2023. In the third new, over 1,400 Chinese firms operating in blockchain industry, national white paper shows. Despite partial crypto bans, the Chinese government has included blockchain technology in official state development policy. In the fourth new, an overview of the metaverse in 2022. Metaverse adoption has slowed down in 2022, but investors' and developers' enthusiasm remains. Here's an overview of the tech's last 12 months. In the fifth new, Chinese Communist Party official pleads guilty to helping Bitcoin miners. Xiaoyi, Communist Party secretary of the city of Fuzhou, financially aided Bitcoin miners between 2017 and 2021. In the sixth new, BTC price preserves $16.5,000, but funding rates raise risk of new Bitcoin lows. Bitcoin is fooling no one with its current behavior, with bearish takes everywhere and the yearly close just two days away. In the seventh new, what is Swan Bitcoin and how does it work? Swan Bitcoin has simplified Bitcoin saving with automatic recurring buys and one-time buys. Find how Swan Bitcoin works. In the 8th new, Robinhood shares claimed by BlockFi and FTX may move to a neutral broker. Bankruptcy judge Michael Kaplan said that on January 9th, he will review if the shares should be transferred to a neutral broker. In the 9th new, blockchain analytics unable to prevent FTX-level illicit schemes. Blockchain tracker Whale Alert attempted to scan FTX's historical balance checks to find out whether it was possible to spot the collapse sooner. In the 10th new, BMW taps CoinWeb and BNB Chain for blockchain loyalty program. BMW will integrate decentralized tech in two phases, first in its daily operations to eliminate complex paperwork, and the second phase would see the development of a customer loyalty program. In the 11th new, 70% of unregulated exchange transactions are wash trading, NBER study. The researchers found that in some exchanges, the wash trading volume can go as high as 80%. In the 12th new, Fiji elects pro-Bitcoin Prime Minister Sidavini Rabuka. Fiji elects a pro-Bitcoin Prime Minister, signaling a positive future for Bitcoin adoption in the Pacific Island nation. In the 13th new, Alameda wallets funnel over $1.7 million via crypto mixes overnight. Data negates the possibility of liquidators behind the fund transfers due to the use of mixing tools and extensive planning to hide transaction paths. In the 14th new, MicroStrategy Bitcoin purchase divides the crypto community. Many praised the move, while others brought up some potential negative effects of one entity holding a lot of Bitcoin. In the 15th new, Bitcoin price would surge past $600,000 if hardest asset matches gold. The coming decade could be Bitcoin's time to copy gold's 1970s breakouts, says Capriol Investments. In the 16th new, Celsius wants to extend the deadline for claims as lawyer fees mount. Administrative expenses from the bankruptcy proceedings have already topped $53 million and continued delays are chipping away at Celsius' estate. In the 17th new, 3 commas API leak victims demand refunds and apology for gaslighting. 3 commas finally admitted there was an API leak after months of refuting community reports that it had occurred. Users were not happy about being gaslighted. In the 18th new, MicroStrategy to offer Bitcoin Lightning solutions in 2023. MicroStrategy's Lightning Network solutions include Satoshi-powered incentives for marketing and website cybersecurity. In the 19th new, Sam Bankman-Fried's life on bail, armed guards, daily jogs and gawkers. Compared to his prison accommodations in the, the Bahamas' former billionaire appears to be living a pretty decent life while under house arrest. In the 20th new, California regulator warns of 17 crypto websites suspected of fraud. The last time the DFPI sent out such a large batch of crypto scam alerts was in June when it sounded the alarm over 26 dubious crypto platforms. In the 21st new, what to expect from crypto the year after FTX. Users are still seeking to move their funds away from centralized exchanges, paving the way for blockchain-based alternatives to thrive. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news.
Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.